Hi guys, welcome back. This is Thorn. With update Aquatic now here on most platforms, you're probably going to build some kind of underwater structure at some stage, and if you're going to give that a go, then perhaps you might want to build one of these as well. It's an underwater airlock or wet room. It's basically an area that can be flooded quite easily, and you can just come on in, close off this door, let this water magically drain away, and once it's drained away, your main doors to your main base will open up. So it's pretty simple in concept, you can see there's no visible dispensers, the redstone is to a minimum. The area can fill with water very quickly. If we want to quickly go out, you see a, a fish that's going by that you want to catch, this is going to give you fast exit. Then it's pretty fast to drain away as well with the water. You've got a chest here to drop off all your, your loot or whatever you've gathered out from the oceans. And then you can just come on in and grab yourself a cup of coffee. Now you're probably wondering what kind of footprint does a build like this have and you can see by this area that we have here is actually not that large. So this is where you might have your ocean or a lake, maybe even a river. This is this transition room, this is where we can flood this area, there's a bunch of pistons and some redstone here to control everything. But it's actually not that difficult. And then this area here is just our mock house or structure that we're entering. You can see it's pretty easy to build in terms of um, how it lines up with existing passageway, it looks quite nice, the transition areas. And if you wanted to see perhaps a cut down version where it's a little bit easy to see what's going on for this room in particular, this is where I've removed this back room here and I've also removed the water from the front. You can see it's pretty simple, it's uh, pretty compact really. The room is uh, quite fast to fill and empty and we're achieving this largely by using waterlogged trapdoors. So this is new in update Aquatic, we couldn't do this previously, where you hide water basically behind a trapdoor. And that's basically the magic for this whole room, where we can control a little bit of redstone, have these doors activating at different times, and then we can allow this room to flood and then drain in a simple way. So now that you've seen this contraption, let's go ahead and build it. So we'll start things off by building the floor for this room. I'm going to have there's five blocks long and two blocks wide. The overall area you're going to need is roughly 12 blocks by 12 blocks in a cube fashion. It's a little bit smaller than that, but if you go 12 by 12, then that will give you enough room to work with. So now that we've got this in place, I'm going to work on the actual walls. So let's just add in some temporary blocks here, just so we can put down some quartz pillar blocks. So I like using this block for this particular room. I think having a white theme for this room looks good. But really you could use any blocks for this area here. So now that we've got this in place, let's put down where we want to have our chest. The main reason why we're putting a chest here is so we have a little bit of symmetry for where we can have the note block on this opposite side. But really you could switch these out if you wanted to. You could have this not here at all, or maybe you want to move this block over here. It's really up to you. You can see when we start building the redstone, it's actually not that bad. You can move things around if you wanted to. If you are going to put a chest though, I do recommend that you put a block behind it, just so you don't see the gap around the chest. So I think that looks a little bit nicer. Next we're going to place our sticky pistons. You're going to need 12 in total. So first of all, let's just put down a temporary block, just so we can place the first sticky piston. So let's just put these down, like so. Now we can put down our sticky pistons. So we're going to have them facing inwards like this set one block back from the wall. So let's put on these ones as well. Then on the opposite side. For the most part a lot of this build is based on symmetry. So you can build the same redstone contraptions on both sides. There are some variations but generally speaking they're all aligned in the same way. We can remove these temporary blocks now and we can remove some over here as well. I can remove these, remove these ones. I'm not going to remove this one because if I do there's going to be a gap here underneath the stair, so we'll leave that one in place. So now that we have this in place, we can figure out where we need to put our trapdoors. So this is what's going to hold back the water. Now we don't want to place it this direction. You want to spin around and then place the trapdoors this way. It doesn't matter what kind of trapdoor you use, they'll all work in the same manner. So this is where we're going to have our water placed. So if we're going to have water here, then we need to make sure that all the sides are sealed off as well, so we don't have water spilling out everywhere. To do that, I'm just going to put down just some quartz blocks, and we'll basically put 
a ring around this area so the water can just sit in this little trough area. So we'll do the same on the other side. Like so. I can place some blocks, there we go. And we'll add the water at the end because if we add it now we make a mistake, you'll have water washing out all your redstone and no one wants that. So now that we have the main structure for this room outlined, we can start progressing onto the redstone. So we're at the point where if you want to move this note block to the other side, now's the time to do it. This becomes a lot harder to move it later on. But if you're happy where it is, now you can just put a observer facing into it. So you can just place it on the back here. That needs to go into a sticky piston and then into a redstone block. So now this is a T flip flop. So if I right click on this note block, this block is going to be moved out. And then if I right click again, it's going to be pulled back in. So this is new as of Update Aquatic, we couldn't do this previously. I think it was originally a bug, but hopefully they leave it in as a feature. It's a nice simple way to create a T flip flop. And because we have a block above the note block, we're not going to hear any sound come out of it. So I really like this design and hopefully it stays in the game. If it does get patched in the future, we could always switch this out with many other types of T flip flops. There's many online you can find. So now that we've got this in place, we need to hook up the redstone. So let's outline where we want to have the redstone dust. So let's just pick a block, it doesn't matter which one you use. And then we're going to staircase this upwards. Because I want this redstone dust to not only power these front pistons here, but also power these trapdoors. So let's place a block here. So if we're going to have the redstone block here, it's going to send redstone power through this dust. Now I can't put the dust along here because that's going to interfere with this sticky piston. So let's remove this, and we'll put a block on top. Not that one, but this one. There we go. And we can do, just put a, a line of blocks along here. Send that across as well. Just put down redstone dust on top. There's enough signal strength to go the full distance. And now when we toggle this note block, you can see not only do these pistons get pulled, but also these trapdoors get activated. Now you might also notice that this poor old sticky piston is not being powered right now. There is a simple fix for that. Just put a block there. Then we'll just go down a little bit. We'll staircase this downwards. And we can put a piece of redstone dust right there. Then also on this block. So now these are all going to be powered at the same time. So moving along, we want to connect up this redstone dust to power these sticky pistons as well. I think the easiest way to do that is put the redstone dust line underneath this contraption, but you could go over the top if you wanted to. So if we just extend this along here, and we basically want to create a staircase down, something like this. And this will be... Uh, Close enough where we don't need to use a repeater, the redstone dust signal can go the full distance. Place the dust there. So now we'll give it a test. We'll right click on this note block again. You can see everything gets powered at the same time. We're now going to progress onto the redstone that's going to activate these sticky pistons, so on the opposite side of the room. And we really want these doors to open at the opposite time. So to get started, we're going to do a similar kind of design. We're going to staircase down again. So let's just do this. And we'll staircase here. Now we need to just run this downwards. Like so. And we'll basically mirror the same kind of setup we have on this opposite side. So let's have this staircase upwards. Like that. Then we'll just place down our redstone dust there we go and because we want these to open and close at the opposite times what we're going to do is use a redstone torch so let's grab one of these and we can just come down here place a redstone torch right here so that's going to allow this signal to jump right across onto this line of redstone here and now when we toggle this note block, you'll see these doors will open and close at exactly the opposite time. Now that's going to work for most occasions, except for when we want to drain this room of water. Because when we're draining this room of water, we open up this door too quickly, 
it's going to flood whatever you have on the other side here and we don't want that so this is where you're going to be having your your base or your structure right out here is where you're having your ocean or your water so now we can progress on to adding in a bit of a delay so when we have this set up so this is where we have the ocean visible right now we can swim on in and when we control this we want this to be at a delay so we're going to add a little bit more redstone and this is where this redstone block is going to come into play again so let's just come across here so when this block is facing here we want this to be powering some redstone so let's put some redstone here so really it's going to be when this block is in this position it's going to send the signal down to this redstone redstone dust so let's come across here going to add a comparator delay so this has been in the game for a while now and we can just do this so we're going to need six total just like that place these down grab ourselves a redstone comparator in fact don't need these i can put that there put a comparator right there no extra delays and we can connect into this block and then just like that this whole setup is complete so now when we right click on this note block you can see this door is going to magically close straight away just like we had before however when we want to drain this room of water when we right click you can see this door has remained closed and after some time these are going to be retracted allowing you to enter and that's all achieved because of this extra delay that we've added so with the finishing touches we're going to complete these doors i'm going to use some black stained glass for accessing your interior here and then on this other side what we'll do is we'll put down some blue stained glass i think this is helpful to remember that this is where the ocean or the water will be and then we'll just put down some dark prismarine blocks on the bottom and top now we should close this off so let's use some pillars and we'll use the same on the roof like so i think that looks good now when we activate this we don't want to be able to see these extended pistons so we need to put a block here as well and maybe you want to do something like this or perhaps you even want to switch it out with dark um, prismarine it's really up to you like that now we don't really need a block there but um, we can always add it if we wanted to we'll do the same on this side so now you can see this is where you're going to have your main entrance let's just extend this we don't fall off when we walk along so that's going to look good now if we come across to the other side whoops we can actually see <laughs> some exposed areas here as well so why don't we put down the pillar blocks here as well fly on over let's take a look it's a lot cleaner here now so let's right click this and see this closes off the room looks good the water's going to be self-contained and then it will open up so that's pretty much the main things done now if you might have a problem where Let's say you right click on this note block, you've swum out in the ocean and maybe you've got another way to get into your base or perhaps you've died and you've come back and spawned on your bed and then you want to want to re-enter this room and maybe you don't want to swim out into the ocean and then come in from the other side. So maybe you want another way to open this. So we can do that pretty easily and we could actually copy the same kind of design that we've already used. So let's just temporarily break that. We can put down another note block we want it here yeah why not let's let's put it here in fact let's make it look all nice so let's put some blocks there let's extend this up and around we'll even put a block here so you can see what it will look like when it's a little bit more complete and let's just fill that in so maybe we want, we want this note block to also open and close this room and let's just close this off now so we can see what it's going to look like now let's do the same thing that we've done over here we'll grab ourselves an observer and we want ourselves a piston but rather than just place the piston right here what we're going to do is just grab a block we'll put it on top of this line of redstone dust we'll follow this around in fact we'll come over too far we don't have to go that far let's just in fact no we do we do actually we need to put it here and then let's run that up there and then all we need to do is place down a sticky piston so we want that sticky piston to be right here so this might be a bit awkward to place so what we'll do is we'll just grab this block remove that place our sticky piston then put back the redstone block 
Now we need to just put in some redstone. Like so. And now this is going to be another way to open and close this room. So this is at the moment where it's going to be draining the water out. It allows us to come in. So you can see this is going to work from both sides. So the very last thing we're going to do is now add the water. So now that everything's in place, we will do this when this is open, but you could do this when these are closed as well. You just need to right click holding shift so you can make these trapdoors waterlogged. These will now be all waterlogged. And when you open and close these, it's going to uh, make the water flow or not. So this room is now all flooded. And if you want to come on in, right click. You can see these trap doors are now closed. The water starts to drain away. Doors will open and then you can come on in and then enjoy your cup of coffee. So now that you know how to build something like this, all the best trying to recreate it. Hopefully it works well for you and your world. And I look forward to seeing your creations. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.